12 Dangerous Spiders. Number 12, Brown Recluse Spider. In the U.S., this spider is found from the Midwest to the southeast parts of the country. They're also found in Chile, where they're called the Chilean recluse. Because of the violin-shaped marking on their head, they're also called violin spiders, or fiddlebacks. The venom carried by these six-eyed spiders is known to be necrotic, that is, flesh-eating. It's usually mild, but a deep sore can develop if the area around the bite begins to die. This condition could take months to heal, since there's no reliable treatment for these bite wounds. Sometimes, skin grafts are required. There are many pictures on the internet showing the horrifying effects of the venom. You can see how badly one man was affected. In this case, it was from the bite of a Chilean recluse spider that was found in Peru. Overall, though, the recluse isn't considered aggressive. Well, there just had to be a positive in there somewhere, right? Number 11. Six-Eyed Sand Spider. It lives in the deserts of South Africa and is a close relative to the recluse spiders. Like those spiders, this one also carries a venom that results in some nasty effects if you're bitten. Since the venom is both hemolytic and necrotic, it'll make blood vessels leak while destroying the flesh. In some trials, the venom was shown to cause fatal effects to rabbits within five hours. So is the spider dangerous to humans? Probably not. Only two suspected cases of these spiders by Fighting humans have been recorded. Neither one could be positively attributed to the six eye. And figure that it can go a year on only one meal. Well, chances are this spider isn't our biggest worry. Number 10. Brazilian Wandering Spider, regarded as the most dangerous spider in the world thanks to its potent venom which contains a neurotoxin over 20 times more powerful than that of a black widow. It's actually been crowned by Guinness as the world's most venomous spider. Symptoms include intense pain, respiratory paralysis, and eventually asphyxiation. Number 9. Black Widow Spider also known as redback in Australia. The hourglass-shaped mark on the abdomens are the telltale signs of the black widow. There are actually several species of this spider, and they're found all around the world. Its venom is believed to be 15 times more powerful than a rattlesnake's, causing muscle aches and labored breathing due to paralysis of the diaphragm. The black widow's reputation might be more potent than its venom, though. Most bite victims experience no fatal effects, and because the spiders will bite only in self-defense, like if you accidentally sit on one, fatalities are usually rare. Number 8. Wolf Spider. Fully grown, this arachnid usually measures up to two inches in length. They're called wolf spiders because it was once believed that they actually hunted their prey in a group. They do actively hunt for prey, but they don't make webs. Around 125 species of this spider is found in the U.S., while Europe is home to about 50 species. Wolf spider venom isn't lethal, and they aren't known for their aggression. They'll only bite if they think they're in danger. If you're bitten by a wolf spider, don't bandage the wound. Apply an ice pack on the bite to reduce swelling and seek medical care immediately. Female wolf spiders carry their young on their backs. This Australian man found this out the hard way when he decided to smash a wolf spider with a broom. After a few seconds, hundreds of little wolf spiders scattered across his floor. Number seven, brown widow spider. These widow spiders seem to come in all colors, don't they? Well, where the black widow has a red hourglass marking on its abdomen, this spider's hourglass marking is orange. They can be found all around the world, from the US to Japan to Australia, and are thought to have originated in South America. They can also make a home in many locations, like under cars, in buildings, or among shrubs or vegetation. While the brown widow carries a neurotoxic venom that's twice as potent as the black widow's, its bite is considered less severe because it injects less venom per bite. And here's another plus. Overall, the brown widow spider is not considered aggressive. Number six, red-legged widow spider. A member of the Black Widow family, it's a rare spider, but highly venomous. Even though it's under an inch long, it carries the same venom as its Black Widow relatives and causes bite symptoms that can spread throughout the lymphatic system. Symptoms of this spider's bite usually start within three hours and include intense pain, muscle cramps, vomiting, and hypertension. Those symptoms will usually last up to five days if left untreated. Number five. 
Mouse spider. They hail from Australia, where 12 species of this animal can be found. The name refers to their soft, fuzzy abdomens, not because they eat mice, but possessing huge fangs and carrying a venom similar to the Sydney funnel web. Maybe they could consume a small rodent every now and then if they so desired. The mouse spider is potentially dangerous, but will often deliver dry bites to its victims, that is, without venom. Due to that, and because it's not as aggressive as its Sydney funnel web cousin, it's not considered that big a threat. Number four, yellow sack spider. They're pretty widespread from Australia to Canada and points in between. Pale yellow or green in color, these creatures measure around three eighths of an inch long, but they can deliver a nasty bite. So don't let its small size fool you. This spider's venom carries a cytotoxin, which breaks down cells. Bites result in stinging pain, redness, and swelling, possibly developing into a sore or blister. Its bite is similar to the brown recluse, but less severe, resulting in a wound that will likely heal much faster. More so than any other species, some researchers think the yellow sack spider may be responsible for delivering the most bites to humans. Number three. Goliath bird-eating spider. If you find yourself in the rainforests of northern South America, do not miss the chance to see the Goliath bird-eating spider, the biggest spider in the world when measuring for mass. Despite its name, these spiders do not fancy eating grown birds. They mostly feed on toads and worms. The Goliath's fangs are big enough to tear through human skin and even deliver, albeit mostly harmless, venom. It's no worse than a wasp's sting. When the spider feels threatened, they will start rubbing the abdomen with the hind legs, releasing severely irritating hairs. These hairs are commonly known as urticating hairs. Number two. Fringed Ornamental Tarantula. These spiders are well known for the size and hairiness, but despite the frightening appearance, most tarantula bites pose no more threat to your health than the average bee sting. However, the genus to which the fringed ornamental tarantula belongs is known for delivering an especially nasty bite. Thanks to its twin fangs that point downward, it can inject its victim with a large amount of its potent venom. In some cases, intense pain accompanied by extreme muscle cramping have been experienced, but so far, no fatalities have been reported from the bite of this spider. Number one. Sydney funnel web spider. Known to be very aggressive toward humans, this Australian arachnid will deliver a barrage of bites while holding on to its victim. It doesn't carry the most potent venom, but all those strikes ensures the victim gets the full dose. It has needle-sharp fangs that have reportedly bitten through shoe leather and fingernails. Its venom is a neurotoxin that seems to be especially deadly to primates. Symptoms like muscle spasms, vomiting, and swelling of the brain can occur, followed by death within 15 minutes after the bite was received. But there hasn't been a death reported since 1981, when an effective anti-venom was introduced.